I'm so excited that the grant from Middlesex County has been renewed so that um, I can keep working with the residents at Town Claw. I'm Attorney General Ashley Moody at Florida State University in front of the iconic Unconquered statue. Most of you know I'm a lifelong Gator, but I'm also Florida's Attorney General and I know injustice when I see it. Thank you so much for that lovely intro. <sighs> I am so honored and humbled to be here with you, the women of Williams. And I'm not like, you know, I'm not one of these people that's like on a stage, like giving you a notebook and having you stay for a week and putting you through trial and errors and all these things. And that's what's really scary about our setting for this season is that the people that can rise to power might not necessarily have the best of intentions. <laughs> So all I got to say is, if you love America, mamas don't let your babies grow up to go to Harvard or Stanford Law School. Wow. I think that probably covers enough. Thank you. Yeah, and a prosecutor's job is not to exonerate people. A prosecutor's job is to assemble a case. That is what he was specifically uh, 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 instructed to do. It is, it is dangerous under the best of circumstances, but to have the President of the United States uh, put members of Congress in, in, in physical danger because of the reckless and thoughtless way of, of him handling this. To put, to put out on open media that the Speaker of the House and senior members of Congress uh, are on their way to, to, uh, to Afghanistan. And you had Kobe, who was just focused on being better than Michael and quiet and introverted. Sort of like, like, like you when, when you don't say much. Okay guys, so we just left the house and I do have an extremely busy today. Twinings Earl Grey with that gorgeous citrusy bergamot taste. Mm. I find there's nothing more uplifting. Earl Grey is for uplifting, tea is for twinings. So in the case of the South Atlantic countries, um, you do have a situation where several of these countries are not directly involved in these negotiations, or they're not, uh, frankly, involved in these negotiations. Exactly. I do a little bit of everything, actually. Promotional stuff, shows, hopefully, very soon. It's a brand new gig, so I'm really excited about the future. I mean, you know, the, the, the issue is about, uh, as a district changes, right? We have a city that grows, neighborhoods change, but how do you maintain the cultural integrity and the legacy of culture that has existed in that community. How do you keep that alive and vibrant? And Your typical SF sketch fest contains dirty stand-up comedy, airtight sketch shows, unsifted improv, some live podcasts, special screenings, cast reunions, and more. Good evening. I'm Arnie Duncan. And while I'm sorry I couldn't join you, I'm so glad that Pencil brought New York City's school and business communities together this evening. Because when our educators and business leaders find targeted ways to work together, the results can be simply extraordinary. Yeah, as Vijay said, it's not only beating Roger, but the way he's beaten him. You know, be, being too sets to love down and being able to come back, saving a match point and still win the match. I mean, for his confidence, that's something that might carry him all the way to the title just because of the, the fact that... And she had always been really excited about doing something to help. And I was coming to New York because I'm speaking at the UN to students tomorrow. And we decided we'd, you know, try to do something here because she'd been wanting to do that since the book came out. Climate change is a national and international issue. So I think that just having a regional response won't alone work, but some form and sense of unity would be very important on it. 